Paxton was a part of my story five years ago when I um, was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I was determined that I didn't want to lose hair. I had a, of my three children, my middle was a girl. She was four years old. And like we've said to some other um, folks that we've recorded with, there's no Disney princesses with no hair. They all have long, beautiful, gorgeous, flowing hair. I don't even know if there's any with short hair. And that was her whole world. And I wanted to maintain just if I, if there's one piece I could control, because so much of that time was out of my control, what, what could I do to preserve that mommy still looks normal? How did this all begin? And, and why beer? How did it start with beer? <laughs> yeah, let's, why, where's the link with, with beer? So my beautiful late mom, Sue Paxman, who is our original pioneer um, and the reason that, that, that we started, uh, she was sadly diagnosed with breast cancer um, in the early 90s. And she was uh, aged only 36. And she, like yourself, um, the prospect of, of losing her hair um, absolutely terrified her. My mum did actually use scalp cooling in an older primitive form. But because it was, you know, a primitive form, it, it, unfortunately it didn't work. Subsequently, she she did lose her hair. And my mum's hair was a, a huge big part of her. When she started to, you know, to lose her hair, it um, it, it was the first time she cried. You know, she didn't Aww. cry when she was diagnosed. She didn't cry when um, she knew she had to have surgery. The first time that that she cried is when um, her beautiful hair started to fall out. Um, I was only 14 at the time. And uh, she actually said to me, Claire, will you, will you cut it off for me? <sighs> um, so that's one of and still remains one of the worst things I ever had to do. You know, I should have been doing other things with my mum, not. To not having to no. cut her beautiful hair off with those orange handed scissors that you find in your kitchen. Um, and I literally stood and, and and cut it all off. And it was awful. You know, we were both both crying. Um, just what my mum was like, she was incredible. She could just make a joke out of anything, and we did, and we started started laughing. So if you like, that was what what gave my dad the inspiration. Um, Glenn Paxman, um, um, dad, founder, chairman of, of the business. Um, he was already a very successful businessman and, a, and an entrepreneur. And, and then as a family, we have over 70 years experience in the refrigeration business. <laughs> so my um, brilliant granddad, Eric Paxman, in the 1950s, actually uh, developed and invented the first ice bank beer cooler um so yeah so we've been cooling liquids for a long time so my dad literally asked the question of her doctors and nurses and said what is this scalp cooling what you're trying to do um or achieve and at the time that's when they said well look we're trying to reduce the scalp temperature but maintain it at that temperature we're trying to reduce the blood flow protect the hair follicles from the chemo but, you know, a lot of other methods were either really uncomfortable, really time consuming um, and, and very labor intensive for nurses, for, for you know, for clinical staff. But also yeah. it's about reducing that scalp temperature and maintaining that temperature. So that was when it was his light bulb moment, if you like. I always say that if he was a cartoon character, it'd be like, ding, that light bulb would came on. <laughs> Um, so yeah, having that knowledge and understanding of cooling liquids in the drinks dispense industry, then the driver was just seeing how utterly, you know, devastated and distressed my mum was at, at losing her hair. Um, that's what uh, gave him the drive and made him to decide, I'm going to make something that works. It's It's got to work. So with the help of um, his brother, my uncle Neil, um, they set about developing the Paxman scalp cooling system and um, we got medical device approval in 1997 and we started supplying them. So we've, we've been doing this all the time. So that's how it all began. Um, I love it. 